Hey dudes, it's Silvite Soltis back again with another Memories of Vanilla for you. Last time, I wrapped up the story of how my ragtag team of adventurers saved the baby griffin, Sharpbeak, from some evil forest trolls, and acquired the all-important mallet of Zulfaric. And while that was a crazy adventure with a very specific goal or two, I feel like it's important to backtrack a little bit and talk about my first experience with everyone's favorite troll-themed dungeon. So let's go back in time a little bit more to around level 45 or so and put on some newbie goggles to head across the world to the legendary instance known as Zulfaric. Before we start though, remember to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications when new content is released. But with that out of the way, here we go. The first time I went to Zulfaric was a chilly day in early 2006. I clearly remember that, though I don't really think it was quite winter anymore at that point. I had just gotten the quest in the Saving Sharpbeak quest chain that required me to get an item called Necrom's Medallion from the instance. Considering that I'd gotten a few quests for this dungeon by this point, it seemed as good a time as any to go for it. However, I distinctly remember that I did not want to heal this dungeon, as I was getting pretty tired of being a healing tool at this point, and especially since I felt like such a badass bringer of death with shadow form. And so I set out to find a group as a DPS for a change. Now it wasn't too hard to get a group, but it did take a while. About 20 minutes into my spamming of Tanaris general chat, and killing some of the local wildlife, a druid whispered me, asking if I had set up a group if he healed it. So long as I didn't have to heal, I was fine with this, and thus the long campaign truly began. I knew that we'd need a mage and a tank, that was pretty much standard dungeon procedure to me at this point, but just how should I go about getting them? Well, just keep spamming, of course. I could be mistaken about this next part, but if I'm not wrong, there used to be a channel called World Chat, which allowed all players in the world to talk with each other at all times. Using this channel, or maybe trade, I don't really remember at this point, I managed to find a hunter, a warrior, and a mage to fill out our team. With all of the spots filled, we headed down and over to the instance. Or, that was the plan, at least. Unfortunately, I had no idea where the instance actually was, despite my many adventures in Tanaris and the multitude of quests leading me there. Sheepishly, I asked the druid if he could guide me there, as I'd not done the dungeon. And man, he was a bro about it, too. Running out of the instance and all the way back over to me in Gadgetzan, just to guide me to the instance entrance. Eventually, something about an hour after I'd initially set out to find a group, the five of us were stood inside and ready to begin. As was the custom, I passed the lead over to our warrior, who then proceeded to pull without marking anything, leaving us scrambling to clean up. Well, not ideal, but it worked. We managed to take out the first and second packs without significant issue. And I thought to myself, hey, this isn't so bad, as I sat down to drink after the third pack. Well, not yet anyway. By the end of that first hallway, our tank had begun marking a mob for sheeping and a kill target for us, which started to make things go even more swimmingly. We progressed along the sandy structures at a fairly brisk pace pausing briefly for mana only every other pack or so. But the problems were only about to begin. As we approached that fountain at the split in the road, we were faced with our first hurdle. Patrolling mobs, all bunched together in a small space. Until now, we'd had a decent amount of space to work with, pulling back along walls and out of sight. 
Here, however, there was no escaping the wandering troll troops as they approached. When one troll got too low, it began running towards the patrols and instantly grabbed another four or so for us to deal with. Now, I'm not actually sure if we recovered from that or if we wiped, to be honest. But I do remember sighing as I died from pulling aggro with an ill-timed mind blast. Either way, whether we wiped from that or not, we moved onward, passing carefully around the corners, through the paths, and over to the big open room with all the scarabs and that one boss patrolling around. Now, of course, someone warned us not to AoE because we'd be overwhelmed with all the scarabs. But come on, it's vanilla. Somebody had to do it. Thus, as we attempted to kill that troll boss guy, we got raffle stomped by about 30 scarabs and wiped. Man, good times. Well, fortunately for us, we'd only been in here for about half an hour at this point, so we still had plenty of time to finish the dungeon. So we ran back in, back over to that boss, and carefully pulled him backwards into the hallway to avoid a repeat of the previous attempt. With him dead, we continued along the hallway straight over to the witch doctor's room. Now, it may not have been customary to do this back then, and I'm sure it definitely isn't now. But for some reason, we were instructed to run over all of the graves before we attempted to fight the boss in order to get rid of the ads. Again, I don't remember if this actually did anything for the fight, but I remember that as we killed all the undead trolls that spawned, I got too close and aggroed the witch doctor from outside, resulting in him spamming us with spells while we attempted to clean up the mess of death. It wasn't pretty, but somehow we managed to kill everything in that room and get our loot. By this point, I was starting to get really tired of this instance. But hey, the end had to be close, right? And so, after filling up on mana, we moved around the corner and were greeted with a massive pyramid structure and several troll huts with packs of mobs, patrols, and a whole bunch of adventures just waiting to be had. Once in this room, our tank pulled the patrols first, clearing a path up to the pyramid. Now I thought that would be enough, but our mage mentioned that for the event, we'd better have everything cleared. Curious, I asked, what event? Oh, you're new here, huh? You'll see, he replied. Okay. With surprising speed and ease, we cleaned out all of the mobs wandering outside including a random patrol that was wandering around a different path off to the southwest. Slowly, we headed up the steps of the pyramid to face him, the Sand Fury Executioner. Now, I expected this to be some big epic boss encounter, but this guy just kind of fell over. One of my party members looted him, picked up a key, and ran over to the cages that lay just beyond. Ready? he asked us. Clearly, everyone else was ready, so I went along with them and watched as the doors swung open and out stepped a group of five NPCs. As they walked over to the edge of the steps, I gasped in real life at the sight of what was happening at the base of the pyramid. Hundreds and hundreds of trolls had just spawned, and before I could gather my composure, they began running up the steps toward us. Luckily, they were mostly non-elites, so even though there were several running up at any given time, we managed to pick them off fairly easily. Still, I felt uneasy as the pack below never seemed to get any smaller, despite the increasing size of the waves of approaching enemies. Eventually, I managed to sit for a moment to drink and catch my breath, but as I did so, I watched two particular trolls spawn at the back of the pack. Necrom Gutchewer and Shadow Priest Siziz. With new strength, we pushed through the final waves of troll mobs and began our attack on these leaders. Somehow, despite all the hardship and lack of mana, 
we managed to defeat the two and were rewarded with some basic loot stuffs and a quest item, Necrom's Medallion. Mission accomplished. Well, not quite. Again, one party member asked, Ready? And to this I just sighed and sat to drink before nodding. Without any idea of what was about to happen, I looked on in amazement as the NPCs we'd just saved turned red and began attacking our party. Our mage managed to sheep one ad and we burned each of the others in some sort of order. But it really seemed like just a giant free-for-all with people casting spells on whatever they wanted to. Ah oh well, we can't all be epic gaming legends, right? Anyway, Sergeant Bly and his companions, including that one goblin that tried to make a run for it, fell, and we looted yet another quest item from his corpse before we continued our assault. After all, there were still two objectives left for me at this point, Gazrilla's Electrified Scale and the Tiara of the Deep. Now naturally, I had no idea where these items were or how to get them, but I followed the team as they ran down the last remaining pathway. I hope you enjoyed this tale of adventures in Zulfaric. Originally, I intended for this story to be an installment by itself, but as I worked on it, I realized that it's just too much for one video. So I decided that I should probably just save the ending for another installment later on. After all, dungeons are just too epic to tell in one sitting, right? But yeah, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this story, why not give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought. Also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and check out my blog over on Blogspot for more content related to Classic WoW. There's a lot more coming, but no matter where you are or what you're doing in the world today, you take it easy, guys.